Okay, so question number 10 from January 2019 IAL. We have this um, cone shape, inverted cone, um, which contains some water up to the height h. The internal radius of the cone is 3 meters, so the radius of the cone is 3 meters, and the vertical height is 5 meters, as shown in figure 3. At time t seconds, the height of the water is h meters and the volume of the water is v meters cubed and the water is leaking from a hole in the bottom of the container at a constant rate of 0 0.02 meters cubed per second. So what we can say is um, from this information here, from the fact that it's leaking from the hole in the bottom of the container at a constant rate of 0 0.02 meters per second, um, what we can get from that is that's like the volume is leaking, so it's dv dt, the rate of, of decrease of the water, the rate of decrease of the water is dv dt. Okay, so dv dt, as it's leaking out, so it's going out of the container, it's going to be minus 0 0.02 meters cubed per second. That's dv dt, dv dt, there's a v here, all right? So that's what we can extract from there. It says, show that while the water is leaking, okay, h squared times dh dt equals minus 1 over kh. So we've got to basically find an expression for dh dt, the, the rate of change of the height with respect to time. Okay, and what we have is dv dt. Okay, so how do you go from, um, how do you make dh dt? Okay, and we have dv dt. Now we're going to use the chain rule. We have to multiply it by something which will leave us with dh dt. So you have to have a dh on the top, okay, and that will give you dh over dt. And this dv has to be cancelled out, so we're going to put over dv. Okay, so if we find dh dv and multiply it by dv, d, uh, dv dt, we'll end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so our goal now is to find dh dv. Now dh dv, okay, now we've got the volume is equal to one third times pi r squared h. That's the volume of a cone, okay, as they told us here in case we didn't know. It tells you here. All right, in case you didn't know, they actually give it to you in the question. Now, the volume of a cone is given by this. We want to find um, dv, okay, dh. Now, the problem here is we have r, which is not in terms of h. And we need to express this r in terms of h. Otherwise, I cannot differentiate this with respect to h, because r is also some function of h. Okay, it's got something to do with the h, right? So we need to find what r is in terms of h, and then we can differentiate this formula here. So this is your radius. Now what you'll notice is these, if you draw a line straight down to the vertex, try and make it straight there, the vertex, then you have a pair of similar triangles, okay? This triangle here, they're both right angles here, okay? This is parallel to that, so they're both right angles, so these are corresponding angles. These two angles are the same. These two angles are the same. This angle is the same in both of these two triangles. Therefore, you have, uh, I'll draw them separately so it becomes a bit clearer. You have one triangle, which is a large triangle. I'll try and do it <laughs> not very well. And you've got the small triangle here, Okay, so you've got the big triangle which has a radius of 3, and this one, you've got r is, three, uh, r is r here, this is h, and this one, the height of this one is 5. So you can use similarity. We want to express r in terms of h, we know that r over 3 is the same ratio as h over 5. Okay, so from that we can say r is equal to 3 fifths of h. So I can replace the r with 3 fifths of h. So I have v equals a third times pi times three fifths of h squared times h. So v will give us, well this is going to be a third pi times nine over 25. So you've got a third pi times nine over 25 times h times h squared, which is h cubed. So you've got h squared times h, which is h cubed. That's a h there. Okay, so now that 3 cancels with that there. So you end up with um, 3 pi over 25 
times h cubed and that's your volume that's expression for your volume now and we have that okay we have that now um, in terms of v and h there's no r in there so if i take that the information i know so far which is i know that dv dt dv dt is equal to minus uh, 0 0.02 meters cubed per second okay and i know that my expression for the for v is equal to 3 pi over 25 h cubed and we're also taking this that we needed to find I'll take it down easily if it doesn't want to move I'll do this then let's move it down here so I can have all the information I need it's not going to whoops all the way up there Okay, it doesn't matter. I've got it up there anyway. So we know that dh dt equals dv dt times dh dv. So we need to find what dh dv is. So first, let's find dv dh. dv dh is going to be 3 times 3 over 25, which is 9 over 25, times pi times h squared. Okay, so that means dh dv is going to be the reciprocal of that, which is 25 over 9 pi h squared. Okay, let's just go down here. All right, so now we want to find dh dt. So dh dt is equal to minus 0 0.02 times, okay, d, d, dh dv, okay, as we saw from here. Times dh dv, and dh dv is, is this. 25 over 9 pi h squared. 25 over 9 pi h squared okay and we got to show that it equals um, h squared times the h dt so you can see here that h squared i can multiply by the h dt so you got h squared times the h dt is equal to and we got minus 0 0.02 times 25 over 9 pi okay so we've got to see what this gives us and hopefully it will get, come out to the same as what we need. We've got minus, well, minus 0 0.02 times 25 divided by 9 equals minus 1 over 18. Okay, so you end up with minus 1 over 18, okay, um, pi, okay. Which is exactly the form that they need there, right? So we ended up with h squared, the h dt equals minus one over eighteen pi. That's what we got there. Yeah. So we know that therefore our value of k is equal to eighteen. And there we have part A done. And I'll do part B in the next video.